what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be working on these mufflers it's been a little while since i've done anything on the car uh and i thought that maybe i should get something done with the exhaust the last time last time i turned it on it was super loud and this is the these are the mufflers that were on the car originally and i really hated how they looked because of this style that i had like yeah this i really didn't like how this like comes up like that but after a little while i started to think well maybe if i if it didn't have this piece if i just chopped it off here maybe they look a little better kind of look like like how the stock ones look but you know obviously in the aftermarket form so maybe i shouldn't have cut them off completely from the exhaust because i'm now that i'm gonna do this but i'm gonna chop these here and see how it looks if it looks good i might be welding these back onto the exhaust that it has at least for the meantime while while i gather up the rest of the parts that i need uh before i make the other exhaust it's going to be the permanent exhaust on the car so right now what we're gonna do is cut these tips off here and see how it looks just before i put before we put it up on the car and then we'll see what it looks like on the car. All right, so this one I cut with a grinder. Didn't come out horribly bad, but it's also not that pretty. I like this style, just, you know, I think I could have done a better job cutting I still gotta clean it up a little bit too. So this other one, I'm gonna try and uh, do it with the sawzall because uh, I couldn't get, I couldn't get around with the grinder, so I had to, I had to like cut these open to be able to get the grinder in there. So this one, I should still have a sawzall blade in here, possibly, and uh, try to cut these with the sawzall and see see if it looks any better. Let's try that next. So there they are cut now, but I mean, it looks good from this angle, but not so much from this angle. This one I had cut with the sawzall and it, it came out a lot better. You can see that it still came out kind of like crooked. I mean, it, trying to hold it with one hand and cut it with the other. Didn't expect it to be a perfect cut, but this one I had cut with the grinder and then I thought, well, this one came out pretty good with the sawzall. Why don't I tr try to do it on this one with the sawzall too? And this this piece right here, this tip, is kind of bent that way. So I thought I was cutting it straight, and it's it's at that angle. Maybe I can like shove something in here and bend it back that way, or something on the inside and bend it back that way. But yeah, that looks that looks kind of crappy. But I mean, honestly, I don't care. This is not gonna be permanent. It's just for now so that it's not not so loud. But now I'm gonna go back into the garage and see how it looks on the car. There's, they're just uh, in there with the hangers and something. Like I put a extension right there to hold that one up. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of like, kind of like how it looks. And those cuts that I made, uh, I mean, I know they're there, but probably can't even see them unless you really got up close so the next thing would just be to weld them on kind of wish I would have left the exhaust together and heard what it sounded like beforehand but I think now it's just anything is going to be better than what what's on there right now like with with no mufflers it sounds pretty annoying Almost sound like one of them VQ boys with the trumpets. Let me, I'm gonna close the garage. I think you can see it better. The lighting is better when I close the garage, so it's gonna be kind of hard to get between the garage and the car. Let me go let me know what you guys think 
So the other thing that we got finally is a shifter knob. So I can get rid of that crap that that's on there now. This is what I've had on here just so that I wouldn't have to use that Fast and the Furious one. And I had been looking for, for a shifter knob here locally, but it seemed like nobody had it or the people that had it didn't wanna didn't wanna get rid of theirs, so I found this one on eBay. Oop. I found this one on eBay. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. What is that? Besides that, we don't really have much to do on the car right now, just because I haven't ordered anything for it and I haven't really had much time for it since I started working again. But uh, for sure, I'm, I need to get the coilovers and the brakes because otherwise I'm not really planning on driving it until I do that. Also, the brake booster. I've been looking for a freaking brake booster and it seems like nobody has it. And then when, when I have hit up some people for it, uh, when I'm able to go get it, the posts disappear and and then or the car or our car that I think there was a car that I saw that that was at one of the junkyards here locally and uh, when I got back from work the car was was already out of the junkyard so all right guys it's been about a week since that last little clip that you guys saw that was uh, the car running with the exhaust like on, it wasn't welded on or anything. It's just up in place, uh, like exactly where it was cut. So kind of a little idea of what it was gonna sound like, but um, I just need to actually weld them on. So today, what I'm planning on doing now is the brake booster. I was finally able to track down a, bra a brake booster. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna try and swap it out and it looks it looks really tight right here. It looks like I might have to actually take the, the plenum off, but maybe I'll get away with uh, just squeezing uh, the booster out between all this crap. But if not, I'll have to take the plenum off. But this is just one of those things that that was uh, not letting the car idle properly. So in that last video where I had it running with those mufflers up on there, uh, I had to block it off because uh, it wouldn't run right unless uh, I had the the pedal press down all the way like really really hard uh, otherwise it would just leak air from there so here's the other booster i have it up here because i uh i spray painted a little bit on it it was all like all not rusted but the paint had fallen off from like from like brake brake fluid that was leaking uh, i'm pretty sure from like a previous car but yep there it is just letting it dry and while that dries, I'm going to be taking the other one apart. Alright, so I got the master cylinder off right now, and it looks like Maybe it's pushed out far enough to where once I get the boost right, I can get it out. But now we're gonna go to the inside of the car and uh, there should be four bolts and then uh, a little pin with a, with a clip that holds it to the brake pedal. Once we take those off, we should be able to pop it out. So let's get to that next. So here's gonna be the hard part for me, I think. Uh, it's always... Maybe not since I didn't uh, put that piece back on, the piece that goes right here. But I'm not a little guy and uh, it's always really tight to get under the under the dash on these cars. Like, like most of the time it's easier to just take the seat out and then try and get under it. But I guess we're about to find out. So let's see. Where are you? So, so you guys see there's the bolts up there and then right there you got that that pin 
and the clip that holds it to the pedal. See how rusty and crusty it is. Well, pretty much the whole, everything under here is rusty and crusty. Anything that's metal. But it's like surface rust. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was just sitting somewhere where it, like, was, it got rained on a lot or something. I don't know. But yeah. There's one bolt there. One of them was probably going to be a pain in the ass to get to. It's right above. So there's that one. And then right above that one, there's going to be one where we can't see. There's another one. And then, yeah, it looks like both of those are going to be a pain. So that's what I'm going to try and get at right now. And I'll come back to you guys once I have it taken apart. Because it's going to be hard to get to and even harder to try and record. So there's the brake boosters uh, next to each other. Here's the the old one that was leaking, and I'm guessing it was leaking from right here. I think this is where I was when I'd reach my hand under there. I could feel that that it was leaking from somewhere around here. And uh, yeah, so you can see part number is probably different. This one I don't really can't really see what that says, but they look identical. They look they both look the same, like the same dimensions and everything. Um, but yeah, same dimensions, but this one says ABS, this one says for WAS or WAS. And from what I found out and I read up on that, this, this is the older version of this. This is just for a four wheel anti-skid ABS anti-like braking system. Just this one was a little bit in the, the first, uh, two years and possibly like part of the third year so 89 90 and part of 91 and this one my car's a 91 and so this one must have been like somewhere in between because there's some others there's some of them that are 91s so this one came out of a 91 mine is a 91 so i don't know where it would have got where it would have cut off but anyways they look exactly the same and uh, the only thing i have to switch over is uh this rod uh or this whatever this piece is called it goes on the rod because they bent it when they were trying to take it out. Maybe I could just bend it back, but I could just take this one off. I guess we'll find out right now. If I can't take this one off because it looks pretty crusty, if I can't take it off, then I'll try and uh, bend this one back so that I can put it on the car. But either way, looks pretty good. Uh, this one's trash. All right, so before I put it on, I want to show you guys what I did. Uh... So that's right there where the booster comes out. I don't know why that was in the getting away the cap for the for the clutch uh, for the clutch uh, fluid was was getting caught on there. But anyways, uh, over on this side, this uh, this pipe uh, that goes to the turbo had to come off. That one goes on the top side of the turbo. That one came off, and then I was able to push the. The master cylinder the brake master cylinder up far enough where i could uh then get the brake booster out but without that it kept the lines were hitting the lines were hitting like right there on the pipe we can see those, those little scratches it was hitting there it wouldn't go past that so figured i mean why not it's, it's just like like a couple like two more minutes to take that pipe off and uh and then you can get that off so anybody planning on doing their brake booster I mean, if it's an, an, an A, if it's an NA, it's going to be a lot easier. But if it's a twin turbo, then all you got to do is take that off. And you should have enough room to get the booster out. But anyways, now I'm going to put, put this all back together. And I'll be right back as soon as it's all, all put back together and ready to turn on. So we can see if everything's going to be good or not. There it is, guys. Car is idling good. I had to raise the idle a little bit, but uh, it's idling good. Started up fine. No vacuum leaks. Car is happy. That's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys are enjoying these, and we'll see you on the next one.
Peace.